Today, Joey and I are going to look at what's inside this box, but we're also going to be using another one of our senses. We're gonna listen to what's inside this box. Let's beep this. Here we have mm. the Little Bits Synth Kit. So this is a kit to make your own synthesizer. If you're familiar with our Little Bits kit that we already sell at VAT19, it's kind of a modular... Yeah, invention kit. Yeah. There's like these little circuit boards that you can like easily snap together mm. and create all kinds of cool stuff. So this is by the same people, Little Bits, but it's specifically a kit to make a synthesizer, which sounds awesome. Oh, and it looks like Little Bits teamed up with Korg yeah. To produce this kit, which if you are a musician, you know Korg. You know Korg. They're legit. So here are our 12 bits. You've got power and an included battery. A keyboard. A micro sequencer. Two oscillators. Filter. Envelope. Random. Delay. 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 <laughs> Mix. Split. And a speaker. <laughs> This whole kit is designed to be super easy to use mm -hmm. straight out of the box, and so you don't have to be, um, you know, an expert or a musician or know anything about synthesizers or yeah. circuit boards or anything like that. Anybody can pull these little bits out and snap them together with the magnets. Yeah, and just kind of. Yeah, and start like just creating your own fun sounds and music. So let's get started with something simple. I'm just gonna take the power, hook that up to an oscillator, and then hook that up to this. Speaker. Okay, so we're kind of building like a chain, right? It starts with power. Yeah, and then you go and you from kind of left to right. So let's just turn this on, turn the volume up a little bit, turn the oscillator. And you adjust nice. the pitch. So you've got volume, pitch. And then you can change the wave from square to saw. You're actually changing the shape of the waveform. So you can hear the difference. Let's add some more to our circuit here. And they give you suggestions of uh, different instruments to build, different sounds you can make. We're gonna stick the keyboard, looks like that. Stick that on after the power, then hook an oscillator to get that, uh, that waveform. Oh! Suddenly, music. So the keyboard bit has all kinds of buttons on it for different uh, pitches. Yeah. So it's monophonic, right? It only plays one pitch mm -hmm. at a time. But you can uh, adjust the tune. Oh. Oh, okay. So you kind of just experiment, you know, you like throw that on. That sounded like, that sounded like some, uh, like some club music or something. <laughs> we need a big drop. Oh. Wait for the drop! <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the basic keyboard. Let's get into something slightly more advanced. Okay, so I just added the delay bit. Oh, okay, so the delay takes the signal that you sent it and then it repeats it. So if you got time and feedback, time is kind of like the distance between the delay. Yeah. And then feedback is how long that echo plays out. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a short, you know, quick delay. Then it like fades out slowly. Slow it down. Nice. Change the pitch. So I just added uh, the filter bit and that lets you kind of Shape yeah. the sound a little bit, give yeah. it a little more like of like a dark, less kind of like attacky mm -hmm. sound. You can get crazy, you just like kind of make your own sounds from like any sequence. And you can put these in any sequence you want, really. What's cool about the synthesizer is it's not really like one instrument, it's kind of like yeah. a modular uh, system that allows you to make any kind of sound you want, really. Mm -hmm. And you just are manipulating frequencies. This is kind of cool. We've got a bunch of different projects laid out in the uh, manual here. Oh, nice. There's one called Percussion Party. Oh. So this is more up your alley. This is up my alley. I'll let you take this one. So we need power. We got the micro sequencer, which is right there. So the whole thing goes power, sequencer, splits to random filter, envelope. The other side of the splitter is coming into the envelope and then out to the speaker. Oh, all right, we got a little something going. So the, the sequence is going. It's going actually going. Mm -hmm. And then it's only playing two of those four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. But it's going on two and four. Two, four, two, four, two, four. All right, here's our filter. So that kind of gets you your, the sound of the percussion instrument. So you make it kind of like deep and dark. You can go bright and get like some tone in there. That's kind of like a 
a small snare. So that's like a But now we can just play around with the beat. So now, yeah. Got a little gallop. All I'm doing is twisting these knobs to add in more or less beats in the sequence. I have an idea. Let's add in some delay. Nice. It's a little bit U2-esque. It is. A little edge. That's pretty sweet. That is really cool. Last but not least, the synthesizer with the works. It's the grand finale. Keyboard, split oscillators, split back down oh, to mix. Okay. And then that goes to the envelope. That goes to filter. filter. And delay. Okay. Kick on the power. Let's do it. That's a cool sound. It's kind of like a harp. Yeah. There's a sound. <laughs> so I'm, I'm messing with the filter. I'm messing with the frequencies here. You go this way and it sounds more like a, like a harpsichord or something. You turn it down, somewhere in there it sounds a little smoother, kind of like a harp. It's almost like percussive. It's got a little bit of a tone in it. I'm gonna let you run the keyboard. Okay. Huh? Cause I wanna play with some, some of these other switches. Yeah. Sounds good. That's cool. It sounds like, even though it's one key, yeah. it's a chord. Like a robot falling off a cliff. <laughs> Just going off script here. Going off script. Putting a sequencer in the mix. Yeah, I put this, the sequencer, then random, and then an oscillator okay. at random voltage, so it should be kind of constraint. It is the year 2000. <laughs> Little bit synth kit, also great to annoy your parents. Sounds like a fart. <laughs> I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Control. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so many different like sounds and yeah, it's like create your own instrument, right? Yeah. So yeah. you could make a drum like you did, or yeah. you could make a keyboard, keyboard a guitar yeah. sound. Mm -hmm. We got kind of got that harpsichord thing going at yeah. one point. So how are we gonna make a commercial for this thing? I think we need a little synth band. You know, you'd be on the drums. Yeah. And that could rock something like uh, everybody has their own. Synth yeah. Kit. You could make your own instrument and yeah. then, like you know make a cardboard shape like a guitar. Yeah, yeah. Or something and then put these on there mm -hmm. and then you could play it like in a different way than on just like a desktop. Dim the lights. Yeah. Get some like. You know, party lights in there. Mm -hmm. Little fog. Yeah, maybe the colors guy colors could pop could out. Come in, yeah. Colors. <laughs> yeah, Joey and I have been making music uh, in a band together mm -hmm. for well since like seventh grade, playing all kinds of instruments, guitar and drums primarily. But I mean, we've built a recording studio, so we've mm -hmm. learned a lot of this stuff in a computer. But to actually be able to like get your hands on these yeah. little bits and like connect them together and see what you know a filter does or an oscillator does, mm -hmm. like it's a really cool way to learn it. It's definitely fun to start with the book if you don't know what you're doing, but mm -hmm. then to just go crazy and have fun with it. You know, we have a character, DJ Chicken Scratch. Mm. DJ Chicken Scratch is Vat19's house DJ. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's downstairs pumping some tunes right now. So. House as in like, yeah, yeah. in-house, <laughs> not like house music. Right, exactly. Another cool thing, it's got a headphone out, so you don't have to annoy everybody that you're around. If oh, you're, if you're I was just kind of figuring it out, and you're making these squealy noises. I was wondering about plug that. Plug your headphones in, and I guess you could go into like recording software. Yeah, that's got true. got some like recording software, you could you know play out a part, mm -hmm. and then play your other parts and mix it all in. If you have GarageBand or something like that on your computer, yeah. you can record multi-track and uh, really take it to the next Seriously. level. Seriously. Yeah. That might be something we could do, like, you know, kind of record a song. Yeah. You know, made from the, the little bit synth mm -hmm. kit. I'm not saying full on music video, but. I, I mean, like this idea. I like the DJ Chicken Scratch. I think he could kind of maybe yeah. put something together. Yeah, I think it would be cool to show <laughs> people how you could really take this to the max and make a real song. Uh -huh. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's how you play that's Twinkle you... Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear some of your ideas. Maybe songs that you'd want to hear us play uh, in the commercial. We want to give you your very own Little Bits synth kit. So if you want to win your very own Little Bits synth kit, check the description below and all the details are there. It's easy. Hey, look. Fat19 just uploaded another video. Oh, you, you know check why? Check that out. He's subscribed. I am subscribed. You should subscribe to Fat19 so you know when we make another video. That's right. It's free. Why not? Yeah, why not? All right, John. Play us out. Fat19.com <laughs> <laughs>